Amazing, Tom. Uh, the International League MVP award and also the first baseman on the IL postseason team. I mean, this is tremendous for Mal Castle. What a year he's had, really, from start to finish. And uh, the players in the Oriole Clubhouse know him well. Many of them were his teammates for a lot of games this year. I talked to Jace Peterson about him. I talked to DJ Stewart about him. They, they both rave about Mal Castle's consistency this year, his ability to hit the ball and drive it with authority to all parts of the ballpark. And as the guys told me, you know, uh, if they pitch him away a lot, and they did because he's powerful, he'd flick a single in the right field, and then when he got a pitch he could hit out, he'd hit it out. So he's just been good from start to finish. He's making improvements both at first base and left field, which he's been playing the last few weeks. So uh, quite an honor for Mountcastle. The first time since the Orioles and Tides have been together that they've had an MVP in Norfolk. So let's go from Norfolk to Salisbury, Maryland, Delmarva Shorebirds. They're getting some player awards there. Tell us about those. I mean, pretty awesome haul for the Shorebirds. They've been the best team in the uh, South Atlantic League all year with 86 wins. And Pitcher of the Year, Most Outstanding Pitching Prospect Award for Grayson Rodriguez. Talk about being good from start to finish. This kid's done that. Tremendous improvement on his changeup. His fastball velocity has been trending up. Even as the season has gotten deep, he's touched 99 in some recent starts, and he's just really embraced the analytics and the teaching there of some of the new technology, the high-speed cameras and so forth, and it's made him better. Adam Hall, solid year, playing mostly short, some second base for the Shorebirds, just 20 years old, so this is real exciting, and Grayson's just 19, and Adam Hall, a kid that was born in Bermuda, moved to Canada at age 12, Solid year with a bad hitting 300, uh, stealing 30 plus bases. He scored a lot of runs. Kind of prototypical top of the order type hitter for Del Marvin. The defense has improved for him as well. Coach of the year to Justin Ramsey, the first year pitching coach of the Shorebirds, and manager of the year to Kyle Moore, the man who held it all together. A young, bright manager on the shore. Young 30s, really relates to the players. And Tom, with all the roster changes in the minors that any team sees, including Delmarva, he kept them winning all year. Now, Steve, your morning blog has to do with uh, the, how well the pitching staff has performed down at the Delmarva. Can you explain a little bit more for us here tonight on Madison Sports? Well, it's kind of a glimpse, Tom, into the future, I think, of pitching development in the Oriole organization. Mike Elias came in this year, and he brought in immediately one of his first hires was Chris Holt from Houston, coordinator of minor league pitching for the Orioles. Chris Holt added Justin Ramsey and they're very much on the same page with their beliefs um, and Justin Ramsey the high-speed camera the spin rate the new technology they're using to impart better spin on the baseball and these young pitchers at Del Marva time are getting in on it on the ground floor learning it when they're 19 and 20 and then they'll have, see it again as they go up through the system.